Good morning from Hamburg. It's time for a little behind the scenes vlog. So I'm here in Hamburg currently for my exhibition, which is this evening at seven. So I'm gonna show you a few impressions of that later and also the photos finally. But yeah, this morning I thought I'd come out and try to get a few photos of some architecture. And yeah, actually found a nice building here. This one with this curving line. And yeah, I tried to photograph it first from over there where you have kind of the river and foreground with the reflections. But yeah, this didn't work so much because down there's also a bridge on the left side and this was just dark. So instead I placed myself here in the middle of the street. So I have cars moving past on both sides. So when I take long exposure with the cars moving by, this looks nice. So you have the light streaks going into the photo from the side and yeah, Currently there's no car so I just take some bracketed shots for the background and foreground to have yeah, everything in focus later and then I'm just gonna take photos for the light streaks of the cars which are moving past. Put it together in Photoshop and hopefully it looks cool. Also I currently have blue hours so we have a blue sky overhead which you don't see in the GoPro but in long time exposure you can see this so it's a nice contrast, the warm city lights, the blue sky and yeah, I think enough talking now. I'm gonna focus on the photo and hopefully I have something to show you. Since I haven't gotten around to process the photo I took that morning, I thought it's a good idea to show you the photos I took in Lightroom and also talk a bit about the composition in this photo, why I think it works and why I also think the other photo about which I was talking from the other viewpoint didn't work. So let's first look at the other photo. When I arrived at this spot here, what I first did, I tried to photograph from the side basically following the line of the building here to this bridge. And on this side, we have also a bridge. So what I was thinking is I could crop the photo in the foreground, which would give me a 16 by nine. Also, I would crop in a bit or clone out this crane up here. But I found this area here, this was lacking interest completely. So here we have nice reflections which also lead into the scene to those bridges here, which look nice. We have nice reflections here. So it's very balanced, but this part here is just dark. And even if I crop it in from the side, so maybe going till here, I think this still doesn't look too good. Now it's no longer balanced, this photo. And yeah, I wasn't very excited to take this shot. So instead I went into the middle of the street and now let's look at the photo, which I took there. In the middle of the street, I was anticipating some cars moving by because without those cars, if you look at the composition, first of all, I took a very wide view in order to not have to tilt my camera upwards, which is what I do most of the time. If I shoot architecture, I've talked about this in previous videos, I try to level the camera and rather go a little wider than the final frame. This way I have straight lines without any keystoning. And I prefer this instead, I could have zoomed in a bit, pointed my camera upwards, but then I would have had to correct the keystoning and in the end, this wouldn't have given me much more pixels. So what I rather do, I leave the camera level and then do some cropping in the end. Something like that, for example, I was thinking. So having those lines going into the frame. So here it's important to anticipate. So how you want to crop later and also what will happen to balance this photo because now we have some bright lights here on this side. Also this part of the street is lit very well, but on this side it's just dark. So I was hoping that a bus would run by, which actually happened a few minutes earlier, so I knew there would eventually come a bus again, and this would give me the right balance, which I can now show you. So this photo, I quickly processed it only in Lightroom to show better in which direction I wanted to head, but what I was talking about is here, I was anticipating a bus coming in and having these light streaks not only here at the bottom, which I would get from cars moving by, but also up here at the top. And for a car, just for an example here, you just have some streaks going by here at the bottom, but still the upper part, would it would be very dark. So with a bus, I have a nice balance now because this bright light going in here balances the lights on this side. And the lesson here is that when you're photographing architecture, landscapes, whatever you photograph, 
you always should pay close attention to your surroundings, to what's happening and anticipate this for your photo. For example, as I showed you, without those lights, without a bus coming in from this side, this photo would have been less balanced because of the very bright lights here. But I saw a bus coming by just a few minutes and I thought, okay, if I place myself here in the middle, this would create some nice light streaks. So I basically was anticipating this. And yeah, even if you photograph a static scene without the cars moving by, just think about, okay, how would this theme transform when there was movement, when you have a long time exposure and yeah, how this could look. So you basically do this via experience. So if you take lots of photos, if you have done a lot of long time exposures, you get an idea how this might look. And yeah, then you can anticipate such moments and know how to place your camera. And also uh, just as a quick outlook or preview about what I would do with this photo. So first, I usually take just a static frame, so without any movement. This one I would then uh, merge to an HDR to extend the dynamic range here. And then I just leave the camera in place and with the other frames I focus on capturing any movement or whatever I need to complete the image. And that's the same workflow as when I'm shooting seascapes. First try to get in all the static elements in highest possible quality, doing bracketing, focus stacking and whatever. And then I focus on the motion and on the things that change in the frame. Okay, so I hope you found this interesting. I'll now close this video with a few impressions from my exhibition, which I had in Hamburg. And yeah, it's still running for at least one week. So if you are in Hamburg, make sure to yeah, check it out. I'm very proud of the photos and how they came out. They look very nice, I think. And yeah, if you have a chance to visit the Esther Reihe Hamburg, do it and have a look at those.